Dad Peter is a part-time captain in the Home Guard. Mum Annika, an economic analyst, and their five sons, Alexander, Nicholas, Kai, Cornelius, and Christopher. Life in this family runs with military precision. I became an officer in the reserves some 30 years ago. If you ask our children, then they would say that we are strict parents. All right, boys. We have chosen not to have a housemate. Have you done your duties? We have decided that we do this by ourselves, together with our kids. So we get a clean. I usually fold the clothes. I tidy my room. I clean the lavatory up here. If you lie or you just waste time, he just gets mad. Christopher! You could say that I'm a bit stubborn. Yeah, he's very stubborn. Sometimes I think he's too strict. Come immediately now! You didn't do the job! It's very important that the rules are followed through every single time. We are prepared to enforce rules. If they don't follow the rules. This is acceptable and this is not acceptable. I don't think they will get away with it. If these agreements are not followed... Fix the clothes there also, please. Consequences are going to happen. There are Christmas trees. Oh my god. Is it winter here? Yes, Brooke, it certainly is winter. And it's minus 15 degrees. A far cry from the scorching Australian summer that our teens have just left behind. This is the first time I've been out of Australia, like the first time I've ever been out of Perth, practically. What kind of animals do they have here? Do they have, like, squirrels and stuff? As soon as I get there, I'm having a cigarette and then I'm going straight to the kitchen. Brooke and Mark are both heavy smokers, but in this pristine wonderland, they're about to find out that tobacco is taboo. Yuck. Oh, God. I'm just dead staring at him. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Hello. You say, hi there, Mark. Well, you say hi. Hey. <laughs> well. Hi there. Mark. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. I mean, I look you in your eyes. Good. We do that, so we know, <laughs> you know each other. I'm um, Brooke. Yeah. I'm Annika. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Sweden. <laughs> Thank you. And this is Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't uh, just don't not to offend you, but we don't smoke here. This is the last cigarette you will have when you're here with us. Yeah, because... Their feet have barely hit the ground and the law is already being laid out for the teens. But for Brooke, the news is not all bad. Do you know that we have, um, that we have five sons? What? Mm -hmm. yeah. We have five sons. What? Five sons. Mm. No daughters? No daughters. Are you kidding no. me? Okay, are you excited? I'm excited to meet your sons. Yes. Um, okay. I hope you enjoyed your last cigarette. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we're going to introduce you now to the boys. <laughs> Alexander, okay. soon 23. And then we have Kai, he is 16. And then we have Nicholas, uh, 20 in May. Peter's opening tactic in this battle is to strike first. And now... Is that vodka? Please pay attention. No. no. What's that about to come in? Please uh, pay attention to me now. We're going to be part of a small little venture here. Huh. And this is... Uh, what happened to a small stroll? <laughs> well, it's the small stroll is a uh, small little venture. I'll kill me now. Our teens may think they're tough, but Peter is about to put that to the test. And what better way than a sub-zero survival test? Peter has called on one of his ex-military buddies to give our teens a crash course. I've decided to bring the teens on a mission like this because if you come in a situation that is very cold, then you know a little bit about how to survive. The easiest way to get warm quick is run. So follow me. <laughs> I'm so unfit. <laughs> How's it going? It's just not my thing, you know? Oh, what's your thing? I'm drinking. <sighs> <sighs> when I get back, I don't give a fuck what it says. I'm having a smoke. 